What is up guys, Mothership here. If you haven't guessed by now, yep, I've done all the intros at once because I'm still wearing the same uh, vest top as before. So, yeah. And let's get past that. So this bit is part four of the PC build. And this time is the motherboard, me installing the RAM and installing the processor as well. So let's just jump straight into that, like now. Right, so next we're gonna get started get onto the good stuff, which is processor, the RAM, and the motherboard. So let's crack the motherboard up. Well, I shouldn't really say crack the motherboard in the same sentence, but I did. Let's take it over. Right, so that's in its protective bag for now, so that's okay. Uh, you've got the install disk, which I'm going to need. Got this, got this. Uh, this is pretty cool because you get the these little things on them, which you wrap around the wire. And you can write on what you want and what wires are going where. So even though I've already bought some, I didn't even notice. But you do actually get some with the motherboard. And you get some more with the motherboard. Which goddamn sucks for me. You also get a MSI SLI, which is you can run uh, two GPUs on a single like uh, you can run two GPUs and use it as a single GPU so you can have twice as much power but it still comes up as the same uh, oh, I've got the name of it now like the same monitor but I got six cables of this which is the amount that I bought so that good and blows and then you also get this, which is a little uh, normal fan thing to the one of the little ones for power. Oh, nice. You get this big sticker plaque thing, which is awesome. Which I'm going to be putting the stickers on the PC to show super sick, nasty stuff in. What? <laughs> That's awesome. You also get a little door hanger, which. Shout out to MSI for this because I really do like the products. One is the colour and two is just the little stuff like this where you have a little door hanger which says Gaming motherboard, I'm sorry, busy gaming, or if you turn it around it just says I'm not here. So this is awesome as hell. Just one of them uh, little things where they didn't need to put it in but you know and then you get all the instructions and stuff like that. Which I will not be using the instructions. I won't need them. I won't need the SLIs because yeah, you get two of them as well, so you can quad. Quad! And then these SATA cables, which I will be keeping hold of for now, just because why not? Uh, what's this stuff? Oh, yeah, just all the power stuff. I'll leave that out for now, just in case I ever need it. Uh, you also get. The back little bracket thing what goes on the PC which has like all your different uh, thingies, I've got the names of them, uh, the different parts and things like that. So that's awesome. So now I'll leave this box here so it's levitated. Or will I? Hmm. Away from now, I'll get two old mouse mats which I'm going to put them upside down. One because they're rubber, so you don't need to buy one of them static mats, because these will do fine. And two, they're upside down because I don't do plugins. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm doing a. What's it called? I'm building my PC. So I'm going to be having all the plugins. Right, first things first on the motherboard, which I'll pick it up and show you. 
is when you are looking for motherboards, ah, what cables, plus stuff. I'll go first on once for the light too because of yeah. Uh, when you're looking for motherboards, one make sure the like the socket is right for what you want. Two make sure because this is the a full size ATX motherboard. So that's definitely going to fit my gigantic case, but it wouldn't fit in my baby case beforehand. So make sure it'll actually it's compatible with your uh, case itself. And third, and I kind of think this is like quite important, even though uh, yeah, processor would probably be more important. <laughs> but uh, is your RAM slots? Uh, when you look for RAM slots, these have got uh, eight bits in, so I can have. Look at them, crap ton load of RAM if I really wanted to, and I had loads of money, but I do not because I have this, or because I'm building this, so I do not have money anymore. But enough of that, uh, when you're actually looking for these, make sure the RAM slots are all the same colour, because generally, I do apologise for all that waving around, uh, generally when you have like two black ones, two grey ones, like two black, two reds, like blue, grey, whatever, uh, pretty much when two are different colours, uh, the two that are one colour, are generally, is that gonna, oops, I opened the GPU one, I don't know, they're already open, what, please, wait, you know, go down, Hmm, they're not weird. Oh wait, that's why, because them are just clippings. Push things over up here. So when you're looking for them, well, when when you see which colours are which, the two colours which are the same, it'll be your main ones, and then the two other colours will be your backup ones. So let's just say you, you do what i done. And you bought 32 gig worth of RAM in four sticks. If you put it all in, you'll only your computer will only come up and show and utilize 16 gig of it because two of the main ones and two of the backup ones. But if you do need any more, uh, if you do need any more RAM, or if one of your sticks fail, or both of them fail, or whatever. But yeah, I don't think. There's much difference in from one side to the other, so I'm going to put two on each side instead of all in one because if you put them all in on one and all piled up next to each other, the airflow won't be as good rather than coming into it or going out. So if you put two in, so you've got a little space between, and then two in the other ones, far away from the CPU as well. But at the same time, I can do it the other way around because since my CPU is water cooled, I won't have to worry about any intake close by to it. So I'm going to put two next to it and two next to it there, and then I can see how that runs. I'll put a little like caption thing over this if it doesn't work, but I can't imagine why it wouldn't work. So I don't think there's any stickers, there's this one, which does it need to come off in there, it doesn't need to come off, whatever. Uh, I've got a little audio boost down here which is awesome, uh, a little 7.1 surround sound thing, all my USB parts, and also USB audio power. So I've got power ones as well, as well as just normal transfer ones. I've got the USB 3.0, I've got two of them, so that's really, really good. And I've got, what, what, two, four, six, eight, I've got eight uh, SATA parts, so all that's going to be good. And then I've got another two there as well, which I've got ten SATA parts all together, so that would work kind of ideal with my... 10 spaces for my hard drives, but then I wouldn't be able to use an optical drive. 
which you know it's all dependent on what you want to do so that's one of the other things you want to look for is to make sure the case that you buy has got enough ports for all them and same with the USB 3.0 if you're going to have two different things that are USB 3.0 like two attachments up front which if you've got the little if you've got the ones at the front on here that's going to be one attached to the case then if you put a little screen thing in the front like on my old PC uh, you, that's going to need another one if they've got them in so if you are looking to do them make sure you have more than one USB USB 3.0 port so you know you're not kind of like wasting your time and money and stuff so yes that's pretty much about it for the motherboard for now which I'm going to put you back up here I'm going to spin that around first put you back up here hopefully so installing the RAM is as easy as pie pretty much well pie is probably harder to make than it <laughs> than installing them so however you've undone them you want to put one side in first and if it's not going in give it a little push to the side and then that should just go in Give it a little push down and make sure it's in and the clip should be pretty much all the way up. If it's not by a tiny bit, that's fine, just push it up and it'll all go in. And that'll be good. And then the next bit of RAM is exactly the same. A little push to the side if it's not going in. If it's still not going in, just start the window. Give it a little push down, push to the side. There we go, it wasn't pushed down enough and to the side enough. And it's still being a nuisance. There we go, so now that's clipped in. Give this the old switcheroo, which you get come here. Another sticker, yeah, I put my sticker collection. So, and we're going to put this in there again. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. that's why, because I just noticed that there when I was trying to put that in. Uh, on the bottom of the RAM, one side is generally longer than the other. So when you are installing this, you need to watch out for them because these need to go in facing the other bit. There we go. Like this. Come on, there we go. So yeah, when you are doing them, just if it's not going in properly, just take it out, have a double check, make sure if there's any little like slices in it, like slices as in that that I've just showed you before, uh, which is actually a gap out of it. Uh, just make sure you look out for them because if it's not going in easy, well chances are it shouldn't be in there. There you go. Then that last one just goes in perfectly fine. Just Push all them up, the clips at the back to make sure they're all in fire, and that's your RAM installed. Which, yes, you might be like, is that it? Which, yes, that is it. So, all your RAM's installed, and I'm going to have a look for the brackets for which one needs to go in there. So, you can see all the box in the background. I've got my processor all ready to install which it's not as easy and simple as the other ones but it is pretty straightforward uh, process thing on there you've got this little plastic thing that you just take you take off and then you've got the actual bracket itself so t 
take the left side off and it should just pop up and take the right side off so that should slide up a bit and there and then this is one handed and the lights behind me so it's not very fun but this is the processor itself which I'll spin that around is pretty damn awesome there you can see Intel Core i7 5820K it's currently set at 3.3 gig but I will be overclocking it and when you do well when you look to put it in you should have in one of the corners this little life saver which is just a little arrow needs to match up on an arrow on here which if you spin around there's the arrow there there's the arrow there so it wants to be installed this way which is weird because that's upside down which you can see on there you've got the arrow on the outside which is which is there if it'll focus well you've got the arrow there one arrow there on the bottom you've got I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's a little indent of a circle on the side of the bracket there, one there, and then one there, so you can line all three up. On this side, you've got another little dot, and then on the top side, you've got another little dot. So it's all down to matching up them two, which is pretty obvious you just put the two luminaries next to each other and you just match the circles up which I just noticed but pretty much just go for the luminati because it's easier to notice and then that bracket will go on there as so I'm gonna put one anchor down on one side which is that too far out I don't know if it is, but it's kind of awkward. That, yeah, that's pressed down there, so now you've got one side down. Put the other side down, which I don't know if you'd be able to hear that, but that was just everything getting pushed into place. So that's cool, and like I said, on the uh, cooler itself since I'm not using a standard air cooler you just look for the little packets this is Intel LGA 2011 slash V3 or 2011 which I move them out the way seems a little bit easy because there's no brackets to mess around with but you get these four little screws which is your main bit there fat on one side, skinny on the other I know it's not focusing very well, I do apologise but and then them little circles around the side they just go in there which in there pick that off skinny side or oh, it's gone straight through oh well it must be the fat side this is my first 2011 chip I'm installing so I'm not going to be talking big about it like, oh well you can like, do this and this and this and it's like awesome and stuff it's literally I'm pretty computer competent and I imagine anyone else watching this video is also pretty computer competent so just look for the stuff that makes sense which on this bag it was clearly labelled as it is so what what's difficult about that 
So yeah, you've got your RAM and your processor installed and I've got the GTX 970 which to go in there and that's pretty much about it for now so I can ins install this into the case and then I'll bring it back up so yeah thank you and I love you for watching the video uh, if you did like it don't forget to leave a thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe because I will have a playlist coming out with like the rest of the videos on and you'll just be able to watch like all of them and watch my progress of me building my PC and then me actually turn it on. So thanks for watching, uh, once again I love you and I will see you later. Bye!